This past November, Sika Rhymes was the latest dancehall breakout in a slew of new arrivals in the space. In 2019, when a gun attack almost took his young life. She feel like someone would make it out. Rhymes, who is said to be Vibes Cartel's closest protege, returns to our stage this week as a survivor of that dreaded attack. Meanwhile, gospel recording star German Edwards comes to bless our place with no weapon. Renee630 is very proud of the way she looks these days. So much so that she is not shy about the procedures that gives her the look. She'll be here and it's all documented in her latest single. Did you even know that Renee 630 is a recording artist? I didn't. And she will be here on all of that. Watch me up love and who are YouTube's biggest streaming Jamaican artist of 2019? We will give you the top five. All coming up. Plus, this week's E! News reviews and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. All right, so we're excited to tell you that our On Stage TV app is now available in both the Apple and Android stores. Download it, share it, and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. And now, stories making this, our first episode of On Stage for 2020. The Yuletide season in Jamaica was of course not short of entertainment happenings across the island that made big impacts. From Popcorns on Rudy Fest in St. Thomas on December 1, where Popcorns entry was what most left talking about. To GT Taylor's scaled down extravaganza to a beach party. Featuring Chronic Law and Daddy One on Christmas night in Luana St. Bess. Brand name parties like Yush on Christmas Eve in Kingston, which featured Capleton. And the annual Portmore Music Festival, where a host of artists took the stage, including Sean Paul and the Angel. With noteworthy performances. Fun seekers all over the island were not short of things to do. And on our video stage this week, two icons, one video. Capleton and Luciano joined forces to hopefully bring back the days. And now, our countdown of YouTube's most streamed artist, Jamaican artist of 2019. Five. Coming in at number five, Ramesh Entertainment's Shensia, which makes her the number one most streamed dancehall female in Jamaica for 2019. Four. Number four, another female who was a big ticket item in 2019, everywhere she went. Toast to the hot coffee. Number three comes at no surprise, but is a major achievement for someone in the business for over 30 years, Buja Banton. Second place goes to the group whose name alone generated enough interest to make the list. We are talking about six represented here by Chronic Law and Squash. And a number one, an artist who has not fallen from grace where music is concerned since his breakout almost two decades ago. The world boss, Vibes Cartel. So now you know, the top five most streamed artists of 2019 according to YouTube. All right, stay with us right here on stage, still to come. Sicker Rhymes in his first TV interview since gun attack on his life. And Renee 630 is very proud of her body these days and brings a video to match those sentiments. But first, gospel recording star, German Edwards, blesses our stage 
with no weapon. All coming up right here on our stage. We'll be back. All right, so we're excited to tell you that our On Stage TV app is now available in both the Apple and Android stores. Download it, share it, and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. In this segment of our show, gospel recording star German Edwards bless up our place with no weapon. No weapon. German, sir. Welcome, sir. Good Thank to you have you. Me. Thanks for coming through and be part of this closing out, out of 20, 2019. Yes, we're sir. Closing out. We're looking back at things and we are trying to see if we can set ourselves firmly yeah, man. in 2020. So, so first of all, wrap up for us your year. Mm. How was it for you? It was a great year. No? It was a challenging year, but a great year. Um, Musically, was one of, is one of my best years. Um, oh yeah, I've seen. Yeah, uh, I've been to like, I just completed a 68 tour, released my wow. sixth album. Yeah, I will follow, and that has been doing very very well. Um, this song that we're gonna be doing today is a, is a song produced by um, Sh um, not Ch um, Triton. Mm -hmm. So. It, it, it's a great look for me because we have a more secular artists um, and secular producers that are calling for us to do stuff. So and you don't say no to these things? Um, I mean, why? Why? Yes. I mean, depending on if it's not going to do anything that is going to um, bring down my name or anything like that. But it's a, it's a platform that we can use to you know, preach the gospel. <laughs> music is music. Music is music. Yes. The music is like life. You use it for good thing, you use it for bad thing. Yes. You know what I mean? So what do we use the music to do? I mean, there's so much things that's happening in Jamaica that is negative, and there are some people who have the power that have the mic. Now, if you can also share the mic with the people who have the power to um, speak, then why not use that platform? So producers are calling you? Yeah, man. Secular? Secular producers. Uh, is it because they want to be blessed? Or is it because uh, gospel is so powerful, so inspirational, so great, so good music? Gospel is life-changing. Gospel is impactful. It, yeah. it, it's, what is wrong with what the Bible says? You know, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt... I mean, these are the things that, if we follow the principles of God, then we don't have a problem with spending money, we don't have a problem with saving money, we don't have a problem with, you know, doing what is really right. Mm -hmm. And if we live that, if a man should look back on his life, you'd are realizing that the, the, the good things that the Bible speaks about, if we apply these principles to our life, you would be better persons. Mm -hmm. Who would be more important to you in terms of an audience? You, you've been called to Everybody. perform at the show where yeah. you have the option of gospel, uh, um, a gospel crowd yeah. and a secular. Which would be more important? I mean, I'm, I'm a pastor's son, so I'm in church. I was yeah. born in church, you know, so I'm basically. So I have already have that platform. Um, well, when, once I was signed to Digicel, a um, couple of years, so I had a corporate um, platform and that catapulted into a, another level where in Jamaica now I'm doing a lot of corporate events. And that's great for me because, you know, God never called us to Christians who are safe. He called us to people who are not safe. So if I can get that platform to speak to more people, then why wouldn't I want not to do that? It's, mm -hmm. like, it's like either spear fishing or net fishing, you know what I mean? Yes, but, <laughs> but okay, let's say it's too big crowds. Yeah. I, I'm, I guess I'm just asking, how important mm -hmm. is it to you to, to minister to so, sinners, very, to very secular important. people? Very, very important to me. It's critical to you, because those who are saved are I'd, saved. I'd rather more doing that than yes. singing for church itself. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, th that's the point, yeah. uh, that's the yeah. question. Yeah. So, so, so you would go to dances and, I've, I've and been minister on, in dances? I, I, as a matter of fact, doing the events that we've been doing, I'm more likely sometimes the only gospel artist on an event, you know yes. what I mean? So, I mean, we, we have done whole leap a carpet event. No, I mean, as a, as a performer. <laughs> as a performer. You know, go walk in I dance, go with a, go with a vibe and see what I want. I mean, we talk to people. I mean, I, I, I'm from Spanish Town, you yes. know what I mean? Grew up. Uh, right beside De La Vega City, still living in Spanish Town until God say leave. But um, this is a platform of, of socializing with the guys and understanding that there are persons who are thinking a particular way. So if we can 
intertwined. If we are salt, the Bible says we are salt of this earth. And salt by itself don't make no sense. Light by itself don't make no sense. You can't cause darkness. If you turn on the light, then all of that darkness leaves. Mm -hmm. So if we segregate ourselves from the, 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 the persons who need the meat, the meat salt, your meat needs salt. You understand? Yes. The darkness needs light. So we can't stay out by ourselves and say, oh, we're all right. We have a more problem we are create. So we have to put yourself in another situation and be friends with Everybody. And so the fire of the church had been burning for quite some yeah. time mm -hmm. against that action, that mm -hmm. behavior. The youngsters like you sounding dance holy and going to church, going to dances and, and thing and a whole vibe. Mm. The church had been burning a fire for that. Is mm. that cooling now, that fire? I mean, everybody have their own stroke and, and different things. Um, I, I believe that, I mean, as a matter of fact, what happened the other day, my, I was driving, and my, I had my phone in my hand, mm. and I was driving with AC for a whole day, and I just cut it for a little bit and wind on the window, and as soon as I wind on the window, I have a phone, and somebody take the phone out of my hand. You understand? Know what I'm <laughs> and just like, wow. and, 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 the, and I tracked the phone into a, a community that I'm used to, and I went there, and when once walking them see five guys, six guys they behind me, ten guys at one point we say about twenty five guys because they, they figure out whose phone, you know. But that's the kind of relationship we have, you know what I mean? Because they didn't street. know whose phone With it is. Street, yeah. yeah, and then when you know, it felt so great for the guys them come to me and say, Yo, you know, it's a beautiful day. Um, you know, I I family as you sing beautiful day, mm. say spice and our son the other day, yes. sing hallelujah to our king to our king, my song. Mm. Yes, and them, them tell you how them daughter love the song. So it's a great thing to know that at least you have a seed. They, they may not change today, yeah, okay. but if it's a seed, they're listening to you, then you have an opportunity to impact their life. And they don't see as stranger, like no. a stranger in the no. dance at all. No. Okay, my friend, good to know. All right, so we have a song now queued up for you. Weapon. Yeah. Why is it called Weapon? No Weapon. No weapon. That right. farm against us shall prosper. You know, the Bible said it's not like the weapon won't farm. Mm. You are going to have people who are come against you. Um, you try a lot of things in your life. But when you realize that if you focus on the weapons that is coming, then you are going to sink. So no weapon that form against us shall prosper. No situation that comes that will prosper because we are more than conquerors. If you have that mind frame for 2020, then you will conquer everything. Stop looking left and right on the situation and be distracted. We like it. We love it. Let's go to it. Thank you, sir. That's a, that's a song, No Weapon, German Edwards. It's a good thought to, to have going into this new year. You know what I mean? There's, in your resolution, you should include it. Play the record. Did yes, you sir. say that, German? Yes, sir. Play this record and put that a good thought to Wonderful have going focus, forward. Man. Yeah, man. No Weapon. In going forward now, your, um, your projects that are um, in the pipeline, what can I mean, we're about? still doing more. I mean, our next song releasing the ending of the month mm -hmm. um, with another producer. Um, uh, that's that's a, that's also going to be a special project, and I have some other more music coming out. So this year is going to be a year of music and videos and and stuff and more tours. I have a lot of more tours coming up, and and stuff. And ambassadorial work for Digicel now, though. Still doing um, some stuff with them, um, yes. contractual stuff with them. Yes. You know, but. Um, Basically, there are other companies that would want that, but I want to stay far from certain things, you know what I mean? Because when you lock yourself with certain, especially like banking and stuff, you, you can't get to do other. It's so the corporate calling you a lot? Yeah, corporate, yeah, getting out of corporate work. Okay, that, but, you're, so, but you're shunning some of them? Yeah, some of them, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. It's like saying no to money. <laughs> well, you see, you have to be wise. Some things you have to just yeah. walk away from because you have to look at the long term. You're the son of a preacher, man. Yeah. From where in Jamaica? Spanish town, Bishop oh, R.J. Edwards. From Spanish town. Yeah, man. Right? Big up, big up daddy. Okay. And mommy. And mommy too? Mommy yeah, man. Is, yeah, mommy's a pastor also. Pastor as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So boy, you can't miss it. It's, can't, can't miss it. And I'm not, the, I'm not the bad pastor, Pete. You know, you have them talk about bad people. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm a, you see, look who ring from yes, the head. Yes, guys. Look at Angel back. The pastor, Pete, them bad. <laughs> Give the most trouble. You're not one of them, my no, friend. No, I'm not. No. That's good. I didn't put the bad. It was like, you know, back in the days. <laughs> you're not know, with the bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so it's, it's Spanish now. And how was life growing up in, in church like that? It, it, were, were you not. 
Well, you, I'm sure you probably was just saying it. You, you got temptation. Yeah, I mean, of course. Um, to call every Dan, call every everybody who the names that are in the news. Mm. We grew up together, basically. Okay. Yeah, you know, and um, yeah, basically grew up together. Um, play football together. Go to same school together. You know what I mean? They know who I am. I know who they are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we, we still pray for them. You know what I mean? And we we'll stop and say, Pastor, pray for me. You know what I mean? And they, they do that. They, yeah, they the man I listen to the music. I say, yo, you are going good. You know what I mean? Yo, big up yourself. And they ask CD too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. One will say, yo, just give me a girl a CD, you, know, you can't give me another one, you know what I mean? Because you still have a heart, and that is the most important thing, because people look at the outward appearance and God look on the heart. And everybody who have done errors in their life, you can always fix it back, you know what I mean? Once you have life, you, you, can, you, can, you can change. Why are they shunning the church, you think? Um, Christendom. Why is it that Christendom aren't seeing more of them coming forward? And, and giving themselves over to the Lord. I mean, if you look in your personal life, it, the things I want to do, yes. are the things you know you're supposed to like get up and go to the gym or eat right stuff, you know what I mean? Sometimes you find it hard, but the things in that you're not supposed to do, that's what you find yourself doing. And that Roman speaks about that. So it, it's easy to do bad. It's easy to go in a lifestyle of just doing certain things and cause it when you want to go on the straight and narrow path it sometimes seem a little bit difficult so it takes a look of discipline and and this is not even have to do with christianity but the principle of life really getting your body in shape is something you have to wake up every morning yes. and do so eating vegetables sometimes is not the nicest thing to eat so moral of the story is that every good thing sometimes it's it's just not the easiest thing to do yes but after a while everybody has it in their heart and the most important thing that the seed it's planted. So man will say they're a bad man. Mm -hmm. Because them, they will say that they will kill people and these yeah. things. It's, it's easier than, uh, you know, embracing life and celebrating and transcend your, your issues. Live and let others live is harder to do. When you surround yourself. To take lives. When you surround yourself. As a, I would say, if you have 10 persons and you're around these 10 persons, you are a percentage of the persons that you're around. Yes. So if, if, if I am around business people, I'm going to automatically think business. So if, if these guys don't have no way, and that's why I want the government, government for help, instead of handing out, but mm -hmm. you know, providing jobs, because see, they see, want to work too. Okay. You, know, you see them on site with them vests a man in time. They, they really want willing to work, they're to willing work. to work. But you know, the opportunities are not there for them. So it's easier to slide. Yes, in everything there's good and there's, and there's bad. Mm -hmm. So everything exists. But we about too much I, right now? Yeah, Jamaica, I kind of go in a different way. You yes. know what I mean? And I don't like that. It's the first in my whole entire life. And I, I feel for nothing, but Yeah, I feel people are just taking uncomfortable people's at the lives first. for nothing. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's very, very troubling. And the, the, the demo, the demographic, yeah. who, are the, who are producing the most victims are also the ones that are doing all the, the, most of the, the, um, the yeah. killing too and the, and the attacks. Yeah, and that's Same why, demo. That's why you asked yourself the question earlier, if what would I do and if I'm okay with singing with? Because yes. sometimes it's the people who have the platform singing the most gun lyrics. Yes. You know what I mean? So if you can actually get an opportunity to put some look balance and some light in there that you can listen yeah, you, to, yes. so you can make up your mind to choose good and bad and it's not really a go with the majority because sometimes it's the majority make some youth do some things with them they really want. Sometimes you have some girl to with them do it. You know what I mean? And them girls that wear some 40 year, feel 40,000 dollar year style. You know what I yeah. mean? And the man, them really want to come out tight. And the girl, them say, yo, what this boy, you know? And them want the nicest thing for Christmas. And them want the nicest thing for summer. Because them are, them are human being like me too. Because mm -hmm. me want the best of my children. Them. So the same thing them want to. But them want it the right way. But sometimes them lead in the wrong direction. And some woman, I pressure them and say, yo, we need this. So them even know, say, yo, the iPad that we just bring back, a kid will just kill some of the feet. But you don't really care about that. You only want to know, say, get the iPad. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of parenting issues. There's a lot of, you, you know, just so much different things. But and we can, we, I think the church is very strategic that they, they are in every garrison and every corner that they can even reach out more to the community. You understand? So we are going to ensure that for this year, 2020, gospel in the dance hall. You know what I mean? And that's the, that the thing. Jeremy and Edwards, thank you again, sir. Thanks for coming.
and sharing with us right here on our stage. Aren't you at Rebel Salute? Yeah. Oh, yes, you should say it. Yeah, first year performing at River Salute with the band. Yeah. Yes. So, congrats on that, sir. We look forward to that. Yeah, man. Can you know, ladies, uh, <laughs> let me call her by the right name. Marianne. Marion Hall oh. took it. Yeah. Rebel Salute one year. The first time she appeared on such a big platform as a gospel artist mm -hmm. to a secular crowd, mm -hmm. Rastafari. Mm -hmm. And that shows you how much love Rastafari yeah. I have yeah, too. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Because Rastafari welcomed her yeah, and showed her love for her, yeah, man. not just for her voice, but yeah, for her message. Yeah, man, I'm a big up Mr. Rebel too, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, so, I'm sure they pre appreciate it. So all, them, all them Christian who are born out Rasta, you know? Better be careful now. Yeah, man. Yeah, Rasta, yeah, is, yeah. Rasta is Rasta. I'm comfortable. I'm yes. comfortable with it. And based on um, Queen Africa and, and how they deal with me, yes. and the, the respect with them show me for the music when I do. Man, we're looking forward. When I, are you the youngster? I'm going to change it still. And I feel, I feel that is pretty much on its way. Yeah, man. All right, so that's it. That's it in this segment for you. German Edwards, an artist you need to check out. One of the biggest names in gospel music. All right, after the break right here on stage, Renee 630. Well, she's very proud of her body. And she wants to tell you why. And later, Sika Rhymes. You remember him? Got shot. Three shots in November, last November, just after he got the all-important break and was like running away. He'll be here, he survived, and will be right here on our stage. We'll be back. All right, so we're excited to tell you that our On Stage TV app is now available in both the Apple and Android stores. Download it, share it, and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere, always. Now, Renee 630 is so proud of her body. If I am, so I'm a firm and sturdy. It's now an entire video, a whole song. is about Renee. 630's body. That's how proud she is of her body. And she's on our stage right now to tell how come she's so proud of her body. Wasn't she always? Renee, welcome. Congrats. Hi, Wilford. You're looking great. Thank you. And um, perhaps if I were you, I would be saying the same things. <laughs> it's, it's looking great. But tell us, tell us why um, you want to sh you're so proud now and not before. I was before. I was very proud of my body before. Mm. But guess what? Um, I wasn't keeping up with my diet and stuff like that. So I did get really fat. I did get like oversized. So I look a short self. Mm. So I did, feel, I did feel uncomfortable with how I look. But all along before that, when people are talking about me, I did proud. Like I was very proud. Mm -hmm. But at that time when that happened, I just did feel some type of way in myself. I never feel confident anymore. I'm looking at the mirror, the clothes, and the fit me the right way again. I said, no, this is not Rene. I need to go back to the old Rene. So that's when I decided to do surgery. So surgery was the answer? Yeah. And I tried gym and... I gym now them. work? I now keep up. <laughs> oh, you're in discipline? Yes, very. <laughs> okay, so you, 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 go f you went for the... The easier way out, would you say? Mm, I think it's easier because it's a hard surgery hat. <laughs> but I did go to gym. Oh, really? You wouldn't do it over again? If you had to do it over, you wouldn't do it? If I had to do it over, I would do it. But not saying it's an easier way because you got your whole leap with the surgery. Mm -hmm. Even depression, you got your like. Yeah? Yeah, because. After surgery and all your body react and everything, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. I don't know. Easy. Recovery. Yeah. How long? How long did it take? Recovery was like three months and some weeks. Not long. Okay. So with pain and so on, and, and you get depressed? Like right after you do surgery, that's, that's when you get depressed. So you'll be like, oh, I'm going to see oh, what I'm paying money for. Like, it's not sure at the same time, but everybody be like, I said, the surgery, boom, you just get a beautiful mm -hmm. look. But afterwards, you no, know, when you say weeks are passed, I'm going to say, no, but I'm look like, oh, I'm going pay my money for look. So then mm -hmm. I start to get depressed, and I say, but I did stay normal and just go gym. And, but afterwards, when you see the months pass by, you say, 
Yeah, they know you feel better. Oh, I see. So you, you've only done it once? Yeah, only done it once. And no intentions of doing it again? Not for now. Not <laughs> Well, you're looking great. Um, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't encourage anyone to do it, but I have to commend you. You're looking Thank you. great. And um, many people who are seeing out there who are looking great. Maybe they've done it too. Mm -hmm. And it's now as normal as putting on makeup. It's not true. normal now. <laughs> like everybody had a surgery. <laughs> okay, so, so you're more confident now? Yeah. Um, and, and so much so that you're taking on music as well. Yeah, I'm doing music. Um, I don't dance anymore. Why? Because I got a back injury and it was very horrible. Mm. One day I wake up and I could walk, but I almost dropped on the ground. So I forgot doctor, go back doctor, do whole heap of spend whole heap of money for my back. Because two me used to flick and do all kind of things. So it affected me after a oh, while. So wow. I just decided to say, all right, just finish with it because my health is better. Mm -hmm. So music is full time? Full, full, full time. Mm. And what has a, has a pretty girl? Yeah. And the a, and a name brand girl at that? Yeah. Do you not make a living from promos and Yeah, I do. And I still do endorsements. I'll remember these outfits, mm. the Mochi Boutique. Yeah, you know, model for stores okay. and they pay me. They pay you for the model. Yeah, they pay me to wear their outfits. So different stores? Yeah, that is one of the reasons why I did my body too, because it's an investment. So I, I got you. And uh, okay, so that is supplementing your income. Yeah, yeah. And while you build your career in dance hall. Yeah, while I build my career. Yeah. All right, let's look at the potential for your <laughs> dance hall career right now. Right like so I'm a firm and sturdy. My body what we get it done from early. Whoa, all me a bounce. <laughs> I find myself a bounce to that. So I don't know what that means for you. I'm it's bouncing good. to your record. I feel really good. When I all me a bounce, you must know Rene. Say so yeah, yeah, go out with something. Yeah, what about vibes? <laughs> yeah, that, I saw the, the rest of the, the street a bounce yet. Of course. So listen. We get all heap of support on the song there. Mm -hmm. Even males love the song, like, enough man see me, ooh, it burn them. I mean, I say, really, them like the song? Because I think it would be a female, like, female alone that like it. But I see the male, them love it to me. I say, yeah, the song I go on then. Yes, and uh, I would suggest they go look it up. Yeah. It's my body, right? The title yes, is My Body, body is the my title. Name is 630, and on YouTube, it's the number 630. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're set then. You're getting income from from modeling and yeah. no more dancing, more than so. Dancing. Only in your own videos. Yeah. And now you're the budding music career and you're getting yeah. some love already. Yes, a lot of love. And so who are the people in your team? Well, I'm working with Crabber Genius. He's my manager. And I'm a part of Charlie Black's team, Multimedia. And with me and Charlie recently did a song called Ligament, me, Charlie Blacks and Gage. And that song's doing really good in Europe and US. It's doing really good and a good feedback. Mm -hmm. So, and big up Cher Logical. She does my hair. And she has to look pretty and my hair well done. And she do it. That's my best friend. Yeah. But she stop dance too. She does hair now. She owns her own Salon, luxury beauty bar. So the girl them can go to them in over there too. Okay, good for them, good for her. Big up share. And you be, you were hacked by <laughs> by whom? My page was hacked. Yes, by whom? <laughs> 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 well, you don't want to say who. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what happened? What did they do? What damage? Well, that they kind of slowed down some of my income. I even got a deal because she asked my email also. She? Okay. Yes, that girl asked my email also. Mm -hmm. So that's how she went into my page. So because of that, I don't know if she shut down the email or what, but couldn't get an email. So like I had business proposal from people that wanted me to work with them. I couldn't see none of them stop me. No, I tell all of my music, they made my email, everything gone. My email was attached to my YouTube page. I just got by my YouTube page. That be gone, everything gone. I know she lock it down and what? My page gone. I said, no, what kind of destruction this? Everything be gone. But 
I just look upon it a positive way and just start over. Okay, so um, you're, what can you tell us about your way forward, moving from here now? You're in 2020. 2020, a yes. lot of big things. I'm going to have three international collab. I come up, I can't say, oh, I'm going to be a surprise. Big, big things. Certain things don't even expect from Renee 630. Them have to look out for it. God, mm -hmm. them some big things. And I just um, went number one on the US reggae chart and the UK reggae chart. I went five on the UK reggae chart with a collab with a guy named Rooftop. Yes. He's from the US. The song went international song. It's not a dance song, so you know, it, it go on good. It go on good. I will go number one one day. I think it's number three now. Yeah. So there's accomplishments happening. Mm -hmm. So, and I like where the music for nothing. And you know, as we say, People like people like my music. Nice. I mean, I force it, and them, them love it. Well, good for you. Um, but before you, I want you to speak to young girls for me, teenage girls. Well, for my advice would be like, if you look up to me as a role model, yes, I know some of you would say, oh, more sex selection and the surgery. You don't have to. All you have to do is just take care of your body. My mistake was not taking care of my body, so I did surgery to to correct it. But for the young ladies, just take care of the body and keep on the head on the body, keep on the head on the body. And just, yeah, take on the education and keep watching me and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Red, for coming and sharing with us right here on our stage. Thank All right, so there you have her. Renee 630, definitely pretty. Proud about her body. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 2020? I don't know. All right, well, next we'll be talking to Sika Rhymes. A sad story, but a good time for him because he survived a gun attack and will be on our stage telling us what he can about the experience. That's next, right here on our stage. That's all right, don't worry about it. Remember me know you never love nobody. I'll be all right like I always been. All right, so we're excited to tell you that our On Stage TV app is now available in both the Apple and Android stores. Download it, share it, and be on our stage anywhere, everywhere. Always. This past November, Sika Rhymes was the latest dancehall breakout in a slew of new arrivals in the space in 2019, when a gun attack almost took his young life. Rhymes, who is said to be Vibes Cartel's closest protege, returns to our stage at this time as a survivor of that dreaded attack. Rhyme, sir. Blessed love, sir. Yes, Welcome. Sir. Good to have you back. Thank you. Good to know that you have survived. Yeah. How do you feel right now as we speak? Are you still recovering yeah, from I the know. surgery? Mm -hmm. Take it away. Yeah, right. How are you oh, feeling I'm now? still um, in recovery mode. Mm -hmm. I see a medical specialist yes. like every week and so forth. You know, if I do a lot of blood tests, because you know, I'm a diabetic. Yes. Yeah, um, and you know, if I just wound them like every day and them stuff there. You see me? Mm -hmm. And yeah, all holy, the holy, holy thing, I test and all the thing. What can you tell us about the experience? The being, experience. Being showered with bullets. The experience like is the last thing you'd ever think for like reach a guy like me. You understand me? Because it's not like me ever see nobody and try to like bad mind them or envy them. Everybody will come, them get them break. Me load them alone. Understand me I try to say? So I as now me now get my break now. This reach me. Mm. You understand me? And tell you the truth is like me been in the street for years like promoting, promoting. And then me just decide for like, all right, stay home. Do some groundwork on the music, get the thing up some more. So, you know, all them local people, they used to call me, like, my close links them. They used to be like, yo, may I keep something forward, no forward, no? And be like, yo, no, may I go and build the thing. So now the thing they're on a level now, and I say, all right, then, yeah, man, I can't give them people about some support, man, because they've been a support me thing from day one. I'm a day one people, them, you know? 
So I decided to say, you know, I could go and stay a show and thing and thing, you know what I say? Ride my bike, you know, my car go with me and I look at charge them around me and thing. You see me? While well, I left in the show, I never really expect nothing like, you know, like something I got up and so forth. More than me just hear a car, just speed up from way around at the back. And just while me I ride the bike, I'm not stop or nothing. So while me I ride the bike, the car speed up and come beside me. First shot me get in my hand. Next shot me get, just stuff like through my chest. Third one me get, I throw my foot. And then I turn over the bike. Come see, say them now stop shoot. You understand me? I turn over the bike, the bike I run with for them car. Come I push it off. So me kind of slide back and scrape up on my side. Yes, Same time me get up now, me I run go back now to my car now. Yeah. Three bullets? With three bullets. After getting mm -hmm. three bullets? Three bullets. Yeah. Run go back to my car, jump in my car and do it to the hospital. I don't know, I real, real up move charge of them. They, they talked to me and said, DJ, talk to me, talk to me. And we, at the time, we did all feel thirsty. And I said, yo, I want some water. And the next time, I said, don't give me none. You understand me? Until we reach a public and they, they try to take me out of the car, which is me never want nobody touch me. You understand me? Because it's, it's painful. Mm. We reach a public and so forth. They have to cut off my suit. You understand me? That the video, the video they might, you have a premiere for me. Yeah, that everything in my van, that's when I get shot in. So they must end up cut off everything off of me and everything there. Oh. Mm -hmm. So at no point um, you were unconscious during that whole time? You were conscious all the way? Yeah, conscious all the way. Yeah. All the way. Because you're recalling everything um, vividly. Yeah, everything, remember, everything. Before I go to surgery, they did that tell me a lot of things like, I could, um, have some organs in me, you know, kind of damage and so forth and thing and thing, which is me never did a like fret or so forth, you know, and thing. But them just have me a think, you know, and then them say like the blood now, me are gonna need blood, we me go do the surgery and them check the blood them and the blood them come back negative and sometimes when time gear, you're gonna have this a disease and that and we start praying to God and say, yo, oh, Jano. I did all right all along, so just because you no know, one incident now, I got to have this and I never used to have on them thing there, you know? Then they make me sign up a bag of paper for going to surgery. Reach down, they explain about the same thing before I go inside. Reach in the surgery room now, they strap them on and start running, they drip them and so forth. Only thing I remember from this sign then they put the oxygen mask and just down from there. So. Mm -hmm. Then they we ate me up one thing when they done the surgery after. You see them cut me, you know, and so forth. So I couldn't really move on them thing there. So when you recovered from surgery, what, what went through your mind? <clears throat> what did you say when you found yourself alive? I was mostly thinking about my family because, I was, as I said, I was always a breadwinner. You understand me? At the end of the day, what I really do this is because I'm a family. Because if me that really do this to me, like my personal self, would I be like having a bag of girl and driving care and flossing and you know, living a, a careless lifestyle? But when you know you have responsibility, you understand me? You have to stay mm -hmm. in the game. You have to go hard. You understand me? So that is the thing. So all of me doing, I said, um, out of surgery, I just that my family. You know? Yeah, who going to be there for them? Who are going to oh, be there for vibes because you know that I'm me and the person who, you know, handle a lot of things for him. Mm. Yeah. I'm just hoping I hold it out still. Okay. And have you heard anything from him since? No. Don't heard anything from him since. Mm. But I know the, the <coughs> challenge is with communication, so. Yeah. From where he is. But, um, but my friend, well, all I can say is that we, we're happy to have you back and to, to be here in the flesh talking to us, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a, a reminder of the situation that we're facing in Jamaica where youngsters like you yeah. are, are the subject of all this violence. You're so exposed. You're so vulnerable. Yeah. You're the biggest victims. You're demographic. Most of you and some of the perpetrators of these crimes are the same demo, yeah. same age group. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? And how conscious are you as a young man in your mind about these realities that face mm. your, your demo, your demographic? So all the way I say now is like bad mind. You have a lot to do with it. Because the same people you grew up with and say, yeah, they may not want to see you reach somewhere in life. As you get a bus now, you can have a foreign. Or you can call them the first week you reach a foreign. Or you switch, you know this, you know that. You understand what they may understand. So when you reach there, you have to get yourself in the system. You know, Find, get like, a time for yourself, know the place, get a job. And them think that them just feel like as a rich affair and you have money and them think there. You understand me? Until them can really understand what life is, I think then. Jesus Christ, it's so unfortunate because there's so much talent, so much great youth, young people mm -hmm. who can be anything they want to be. Yeah. If only they knew, if only they believe, only if they only believe. they were being mm -hmm. educated. Yeah. If only they could be reasoned with yeah. and just be patient with themselves and with the society too. Yeah, yeah, because what, be what, what I said um, earlier before, and I'm going to sit and wait my time now, because a lot of artists, a long time, I did this long, long time, and a lot of artists come and get color, a lot of artists come bust and rest. Yeah. I mean, never yet sit down on a table and Bread here in a man or bad, bad man in a man. You understand me? Because I believe in a me. I believe in a what I do. You understand me? If I have my team around me and them are push it to, what more? Oh gosh, man. What more? Mm -hmm. You just have to give yourself some time to make it happen. Yeah, just and, time. And it's, it's, it's sad that so many youths uh, um, are papa mm. so easy. Yeah. And embracing death rather than life. And that's what up move basically about life because a couple of years ago I used to keep like this up move Sunday event like a party like every time we keep the event where we bring in like no artists to come perform and stuff for it. And then you don't know enough um, parents can afford ice cream and yes. things for the kids then. So like every time we keep the event to make sure we keep a cheat in the early part. So it's not like we're keeping the event to make a money. They say we can go buy this or buy that. The money we make back we turn over for the other time where we keep the event and so forth. Till um, we get a sponsor from Sharp Boss Music. That is Shorty. Mm -hmm. And we get a sponsor from um, high grade um, some people in America. Um, sponsor me on um, a desktop and a printer for Waterford Primary School because they see what I'm doing. You understand me? So it's not oh like say me promote badness or I do not a bad man and a bad man. You understand me? How can a man feel it, the need to want to kill somebody who's trying to raise to give kids yeah. ice cream mm -hmm. because they're parents? It's all over social media. I come and post it on my Instagram, people take it off from Instagram, put it on YouTube. There's a lot, my dear. There's a lot. Wow. Clearly, you're a youth where embrace life. Okay? And I said it when you came that in the first time you came to our stage. That we like your spirit. We believe, say, you're a good youth. Yeah. And you survive. Yeah, that's true. Because you embrace life. You want. And to tell you, at this good moment right now, I don't really know if a case is out there going about my shooting because I never get no interview yes. by no police or no ID parade or nothing. Nothing? You understand me? Yeah, nothing. So the so police isn't, isn't nothing. Do, you don't know what they're Nobody doing? Nobody communicated with me because at the time it's not like I can get up and go to a station or report or nothing. You understand me? And I'm a wow. law abiding That's citizen. Yeah. So Seriously, the police is yeah. not is not on the case trying to know resolve what happened. This crime. That's know interesting. Well, maybe the police should be. should make a statement about that because I'm shocked. Yeah, I don't know interview nothing. They haven't no question, contacted you at all. Nothing. Whoa. Well, police. This doesn't sound right to me. The victim is not contacted. No contact whatsoever, and he's talking, and he's here on our stage, can talk and can answer questions. 
What does that say about our law enforcement in this country? Why? They need to answer that. When the meantime, we have a song, Sika. Yeah. And um, we want to go to it. What's the name of it? Um, Gaza to my bone. Gaza to, to your bone. And yeah. that was done before all of yeah, this? That was done um, this Saturday. And I get shot early Sunday morning. The Saturday going over to the Sunday. OK. Let's go to the song. Gaza to my bone and to my grave. Me carry that tune. Me carry that tune. All right, so there you have it. Gaza to my bone from Sika Rhymes. Still in music, still alive. Yeah. Still, I survive. My brother Jing. Good to see you, sir. Continue to embrace life. Continue to do your music, my friend. Yeah. I work good. And we wish you all the best with all you're doing mm -hmm. and your focus and that you can continue to, to feed your family. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, I mean, much respect, work well, good. All right, so that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more On Stage. All right, thanks for watching our video. You know what to do. Click, subscribe, and be on our stage always.